Organisms don't exist on their own, but have complex relationships with other species in the habitat and the physical environment. Ecology is the branch of biology that studies these relationships and tries to make sense of them. To be able to understand and discuss ecosystems, you need to know the key vocabulary. You need to know what these words mean, habitat, population, community, and ecosystem. So let's start off with ecosystem. What is an ecosystem? Well, an ecosystem is all of the living organisms in an area or habitat and all the non-living conditions as well, the physical environment. So it's a combination of the living organisms and the physical environment, or the abiotic factors as well, as we call it. What's a habitat? Well, a habitat is simply the place an organism lives. You have small habitats, like a drop of rainwater, or a large habitat, like a, a field. Population. The population is all the organisms of one species in a habitat. Just the one species. So you might have a population of ladybirds and a population of oak trees and a population of caterpillars. Each species is a population. The community, though, are all the different species in that habitat together. Okay, the number of the all the species together. That's the community. So make sure you get the difference, understanding between population and community, as those quite often get confused. Biotic and abiotic factors will affect population sizes and distribution of species within ecosystems. Biotic factors are things like food availability, predators, competition from other organisms, infection from pathogens, anything to do with biology, any kind of living factor that can affect um, their survival. Abiotic factors are things like sunlight, temperature, pH, water, minerals, soil type, salinity. These are not living things, that's why they're called abiotic. 